Man, I'm so hyped for this Under the Red Hood sequel. Again, not my proudest wow. Hey, how are you doing? So as always, it's been a big week for DC news, and throughout this video, we're going to be breaking down the new look at the Snyder Cut Steppenwolf, debunking the Batman Mountain Dew ads, a fake Catwoman scene, and talking about leaks on the new Suicide Squad game. Because of this, there will be some spoilers here, so if you don't want anything ruined about the upcoming titles, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. Don't forget we do videos like this every week, so if you're still unsubscribed then make sure you do as we have a right laugh over here and try and bring you the stories without the clickbait. Now with all that out of the way, this is the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition aka Batman's Biggest Bat Fan, now let's get into the breakdown. Okay so as always, Zack Snyder's Vero account is full of behind the scenes looks at his projects and upcoming movies. I still have no idea what Vero really is, not really used it, and I don't even know if anyone else is on there, but occasionally I stop by to see what's going on in the Snyderverse. Now on the 8th of August, which just so happens to be my birthday, Snyder gave me the greatest gift of all by dropping a look at a production still of Steppenwolf. As we can see from it, the character is back to his original design that's more in line with his look in Batman v Superman. Though the CGI on him isn't finished, to me, it still looks way better than how he was in the Justice Cut. This is going to be the scene that takes place under Gotham Harbour, and originally when Snyder showed this moment to the press all the way back in 2016, they said it was one of the best action scenes in a DC movie ever. I still don't know how much it will change from what we eventually got, but just knowing that Steppenwolf will be here looking like some rabid animal that's about to rip everyone's head off, I think will add a lot more to what's going on. Snyder said that this image was low res and that in full high definition he'll look a lot more menacing and intimidating. This is something that fans of the film are excited for and after the theatrical version looked like the Michelin man after hitting the gym, anything feels like an improvement on that. Now a notable thing to take from this image is that the initials ZS appear on it. This could be taken one of two ways, and though it could easily mean Zack Snyder, it could potentially be taken as Zoic Studios, who are rumoured to be working on the VFX for the piece. I also think there's a timestamp of 1 hour and 1 minute, and the scene in the theatrical cut takes place around the 55 minute mark, so we know we will have probably had at least 5 minutes of additional footage at this point. There's also the fact that Snyder is cutting out the rooftop scene from the beginning of the movie, and also the music number, which I actually like, so there's probably going to be about 12 minutes of footage at this point, which will be different to what we saw in cinemas. I think I'm kind of getting obsessive at this point, just breaking all these stupid little details down, but speaking of obsessive, we've also broken down the fake Batman Mountain Dew advert that's been floating around to show where the original images come from. Now you might have seen these out and about, and it's actually been picked up by a lot of big sites like comicbook.com. This is because apparently it has the first look at Catwoman's silhouette, and also the Riddler. Unfortunately, it's fake, and I was actually talking to Chris Parker from 3C Films about it, and he said he'd pretty much made a video and had it ready to go live before it was being announced as fan made. Still though, sites ended up running with it, and Chris even got quoted on comicbook.com as a source, even though it wasn't real. Haha, <laughs> got him! That'll teach you for making better Batman videos than me, a guy in the end. You might have more views, but I got you. Now it completely blew up, and it's kind of crazy to me, as it was actually debunked fairly early on after being released. I think with it being a slow news year, places just ran with it, because it's easier to report on a lie, get the clicks, and then announce it as fake later, and also get the clicks for that. Now, the first part of the ad, which is meant to be a look at Batman, actually comes from Wizard Magazine, and it's been recolorized to make it look more in line with the branding of Mountain Dew. Delicious, delicious Mountain Dew, available now. Next up is the Catwoman silhouette, which was being used as a first look at the Catsuit. This was taken from a promo image for Arkham City, and last is the Riddler, who is actually just some artwork for Hugo Strange that's had its colours changed and just a mask added over the top of it. As always, shout out to the Bat Source and Mr. Batfleck on Twitter for getting to the bottom of this and discovering where the original images came from, and shame on all the people who reported on it being real, even though they knew it was fake. I'm gonna get you. 
In addition to this, I also got sent an apparent leak of a scene which showed that Catwoman was the daughter of the liar. In case you don't know, there, were, there was a leaked scene a couple of months ago that had a guy in a chair with a bag over his head and on the bag was written liar. This also started making the rounds on the internet, but it's even crazier to me that this picked up almost as much attention as the Mountain Dew ad. Firstly, the image of Zoe is taken from Fantastic Beasts. Secondly, the writing Daughter of Liar looks like it was done with a spray paint can on Microsoft Paint. And lastly, if Sophia Lillis was in the movie, it just would have picked up so much attention at this point. And thus, yes, this image is completely fake. So, sorry to disappoint everyone, but we really do try and go through this stuff with a fine tooth comb to make sure that what we're reporting is legit. I've never seen a film like this where there's so many bits of fake information flying about, and hopefully this has ruined your day, I mean, made you a bit more sceptical about things in the future. Now before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to let you know we're giving away a free copy of the MCU Infinity Saga box set to one random subscriber. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the stories in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of August and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. And lastly are some leaks on the upcoming Rocksteady Suicide Squad game. In case you don't know, we actually reported on this last month and the game was pretty much confirmed by domains that Warner Brothers registered. This included SuicideSquadGame.com and SuicideSquadKillerJusticeLeague.com. In addition to this, the same source has recently posted some brand new information on the upcoming title. Now why this seems like it could be legit is because the post was removed, but thanks to Nerdstash, we do know what was in it. We have pretty much been hammering home for the last 5 minutes that all leaks like this should be taken with a pinch of salt, so do the same with these as we won't know for definite until we play the game. So according to the leak, the game will be available on PS5, Xbox Series X and PC with a launch window of late 2021 to early 2022. The leak has said that the game will take place in the Batman Arkham universe, which makes a lot of sense since Rocksteady built it and are now creating this new title. The story will apparently centre on Amanda Waller and Lex Luthor attempting to create Doomsday through Project Cadmus in order to eliminate the Justice League. Waller plans to capture the Justice League by sending in the Suicide Squad and bringing them in alive in order to await their Doomsday. Puns, puns, puns. Now you will play as certain members of the squad including Harley Quinn who will be equipped with a fast moving bat and powerful hammer for melee or dual pistols and a submachine gun for ranged attacks. There's also Deadshot who can use his wrist mounted guns and an assault rifle. Next is Deathstroke who plays like Batman in the Arkham games and in addition to this other playable characters are Cheetah, King Shark, Captain Boomerang, Count Vertigo and Enchantress. Meanwhile the Justice League roster is made up of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, Shazam and Hawkgirl. The leaker said that they managed to play against two of the bosses and that these were Wonder Woman and Batman. They said that Batman pretty much plays exactly like how he did in the Arkham games, predominantly using gadgets and stealth attacks. The user stated that there was even a Predator section similar to the Arkham series, however the game developers had switched things up a bit and you were actually the prey this time whereas Batman was the one hunting you. When discussing Wonder Woman, they said that she uses her lasso a lot to try and grab you and then she pulls you in with a sword. She's also able to block a lot of the standard attacks with a shield, so you have to combat her in order to break her defences and take her down. To me, this sounds like one of the big boss battles in The Last of Us Part 2 that I don't want to spoil in case you haven't played it, but after hearing all this info, I'm very excited to see what could be happening with the game. It feels like it's been forever since the last Rocksteady title, and I know that Arkham VR was one technically, but yeah, it, it's been far too long. I do hope that we also get to play as the Justice League 2 at one point, because that's a big thing that people, including myself, have been crying out for for years. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on all these leaks, and if you believe them, or if you don't. If you've heard anything else about any of the titles mentioned in this video, then make sure you drop them in the comment section below as we'd love to discuss them with you. If you enjoyed this video and want something else to watch, then make sure you check out a video on the rumoured Catwoman HBO Max show which is going to be linked at the end. We go over all the details we have so far, so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to support the channel from as little as 99 cents a month, then please click the join button below. 
you want to come chat to us after the show, either follow us at Heavy Spoilers or click the Discord link in the description below. Those are the best ways to keep up to date with the channel, and hopefully we see you soon, but if not, thanks for making it until the end of the video. You've been the best, I've been Definition, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.